Today I'd like to talk about this uh, 2005 uh, Chrysler Town & Country. Uh, many of you ask about the clips on the EVAP canister and I'm going to go ahead and show you that. We'll take a look at it underneath here and try to make it easier for you. So right here are the lines. Uh, it did take two hands a little bit easier that way but here I'll give you a little shot of uh, what it looks like inside you got these two two little plastic pieces here that when you punch them together it pulls back and then they normally would catch on here that that keeps it from blowing apart uh, then this one over here the green one if you take a look at it you'll see how it's made uh, fuel tanks full on this vehicle right now so this is kind of a bad timing you got a little bit of fuel dripping out uh, you can kind of see right here they just pinched together enough at these tabs Don't catch that lip there. Uh, you can kind of spin this. You can spin it, pinch it, and spin it to get it down. It's kind of difficult because a lot of times it's all dry and full of dirt. But there again, uh, make sure it does have the O-ring in. You can see the yellow O-ring there. When you're all done. Go ahead and make sure this green fitting here is lined up with the edges. Right there. Uh, push it together, it should snap. And we're definitely gonna find out here if my uh, phone is really intrinsically safe or not because uh, I'll probably catch fire and burn alive while doing this if if it's not but they claim it's waterproof so I'm gonna claim it's vapor proof but if you can see here how that clip bends over uh, some vehicles might be just slightly different but you get the principle on a fuel system they are kind of like this I know it's hard uh, keep your head up high though uh, you'll you'll get it. Uh, just take a look how it's built, and if you got any questions, let me know. I'll try to answer them. I'm gonna try to be a better YouTuber here. Uh, I'll go ahead and uh, put this guy back in. Try to get her on here.